Uh, okay, in this example, um, we're given uh, uh, a function uh, represented by a graph. Uh, and this function uh, relates the uh, percentage uh, P. Um, that's what we're calling the percentage. Uh, we're, we're using the variable P to represent that percentage. Uh, of uh, women in the U.S. who work jobs outside of the um, home. Uh, and so that percentage uh, is related to the uh, number of years, uh, number of elapsed years after uh, 1900. So we're calling um, that amount uh, T. And um, we want to determine the years when this uh, percentage was increasing. So this percentage has fluctuated over time. And we want to determine, uh, according to the graph, uh, when the percentage was increasing. So um, this is equivalent to uh, just determining where uh, the function p is um, increasing. And uh, so we've already seen examples of determining uh, where a function is increasing. Uh, remember, we're going to uh, write that uh, result uh, in terms of uh, uh, the inputs. And so um, if we examine uh, this uh, graph uh, from left to right, uh, we can see that the outputs uh, from the function uh, uh, p, uh, in other words, the, uh, this percentage, um, uh, was increasing uh, from the input 60 uh, to the input uh, 100. Okay, So the graph is uh, rising. Uh, the outputs are increasing uh, between uh, t equals 60 and t equals 100. In other words, from the input 60 to the input uh, 100. Um, so we can write that down. Um, we can just say p is uh, increasing. Um, and we can write that result down um, as an interval. Uh, so p is increasing uh, on uh, the interval of inputs from uh, 60 uh, to uh, 100. So keep in mind, uh, when we say that p is increasing, we mean the outputs from the function p um, are increasing. And um, um, we don't um, give output values here, though, um, in this interval. Um, we indicate the interval of inputs over which or on which um, uh, the outputs are increasing. And so um, uh, this uh, interval, uh, 60 to 100, this is an interval of inputs. All right, now let's, uh, let's translate that into uh, practical terms. So let's... Uh, um, express our result uh, in the context of the problem. And um, so essentially, uh, we're just uh, saying that uh, uh, the percentage um, again of women um, uh, in the United States uh, who are working uh, jobs outside of the house uh, was increasing um, or increased <clears throat> from um, a last year 60. So this is the last years after 1900. So that would be from 1960 uh, to um, a last year 100. Uh, so that would correspond to um, the year uh, 2000, this is 100 last years after uh, 1900.